Wow, welcome. My name is Angel, Southampton University. You made it. Absolutely congratulations. I'm happy for you. This is, last time I checked, the 12th best university in the country. Congratulations, everyone. I'm happy for you. But are you happy for you? Are you happy that you're in Southampton? Was it your clearing university? Was it your reserve? Was it your second, third choice? First choice? Me, it was my first choice and only choice. So it was Southampton or nothing. Here's a couple things I need you to know before coming here because nobody told me about this. But I'm gonna let you know, all right? Without further ado, let's get into the video. Action. I've got my list of notes here as per usual and the first thing I want to say is the bus link the uni link bus park if you are going to a Southampton accommodation for Southampton of Southampton by Southampton you will get a free uni link bus park which effectively cost 320 quid outside of the uni accommodation so second year third year if you're not in that accommodation you might or potentially would have to pay a large sum of money for the bus park so be grateful and use it as much as you can as fervently as you can because it's a lot of money i think it comes with the bill so either way you're paying the same bus pass use it it gets you everywhere in southampton it gets you through and through let me see if I can show you a quick snippet of what it looks like. So you get the Unilink bus pass. This is what it looks like. And you've got the barcode. Please do not screenshot the barcode because it will give you a warning and log you out. And they're serious about this stuff. It's, it's illegal. So please, I did that thinking, oh, let me just save the tape. Don't do it. Don't do it. So you've got the bus pass. Great. Buses stop after midnight, so after the club, you will be getting an Uber or you will be walking. That leads me on to number two. There will be lots of walking. Bring your walking shoes from home. Bring two pairs. Bring a pair of walking shoes because Southampton is hilly. It is hilly. You're going to grow huge quads afterwards because it's, it's just it's a small town. It's a small city. You, you will walk everywhere. There's lots of walking. You walk to you even. The buses are great. Oh, number three. Number three. You know, I just, it just keeps going on. I've got more and more to say. Okay, do you know what? That, that kind of links to the same thing, isn't it? There are times, especially in the mornings, lecture times, peak times, there will be no space for you on the bus. My best advice. Okay, number three, get the buses early. My best advice for you would be to leave early. Because when you leave early, there is space for you on the bus and you don't have to risk waiting two buses to pass by before you get a bus and then you'll be late for your lecture. So be prepared for a packed, heavy, smelly bus. Be prepared. The buses are nice and new, so don't worry about, you know, the interior and the decor. It's nice and new, but it's just lots of students in the morning who have brushed their teeth, have showered, and that cute. It's not ideal. But if you want to walk, you can walk. Depending on how far your accommodation your accommodation is from the campus. Number four, the nightlife. I'm sure everyone wants to know about the nightlife. I will have you know it exists. It's there, it's real, it just isn't great especially if you're like me and you're a very nigerian girl into afro beats and i'm a piano you know that's my that's my scene and they don't have much of that here like there's a fraction there's a tiny fraction of that they don't really support they're not they don't really cater to us i think that's exactly what it is because then you go to the Midlands, they cater, they probably even over cater to the black African Caribbean community. So in Southampton, don't expect too much. Bring the bar low, bring it low and just enjoy, enjoy what you can out of the nightlife. Because after Freshers Week, it just dies down afterwards. Like, it's okay. I mean, lots of students, if, if you're... Lots of students tend to enjoy it because that's all they have and that's their first time being out. That's their first taste of nightlife so they enjoy it. I guess if you find a group and they want to go out, 
be free to go out. It's mediocre. There's a couple clubs. You got Jesters, you got Switch, you got Sobar, Trilogy. It's okay. But if you're black African Caribbean, you want like that type of stuff. Buddha Lounge is okay. Switch Bunker is okay. Cafe Parfait. I don't go out anymore, but Parfait on a good day with a good event. Good. That's all I remember at Sobar sometimes. They have specific events. You have to keep up keep up to date on Fat Soma, the app. I'll put it in the link if you need it. Number six, Southampton's not the most picturesque picturesque place to be. No, it's not. I'll be very honest with you, it's not. But I can assure you, it's uh, got nice green space. It's got nice green spaces. It's just that the buildings, it's no, if you're coming from London like me, it's just, it's, it's dull. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. But on number seven, it's got great weather. It doesn't really snow. When it's snowing in London, it's okay. It's just cold in Southampton. When it's sunny, it's sunny. It's hot in Southampton. If that's what you like, if you're coming early, like, late summer I would still suggest bringing a fan cold winter the heaters usually work if you're in the accommodation the heat is gonna be working so I don't think you need to be bringing a heater what number am I number eight is it number eight number eight if you have a bike bring it that's all I have to say I, I've said everything about the walking if you have a bike bring it you will save money you you get around really easily it's it's efficient South, Southampton's are quite bikey is that a word they 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 they, they support cyclists not as much as London and Boris Johnson cycles, but it's support cycle. I'd definitely try it out. Number nine. The campus is far from the city. No one told me this before I came. So I was like, oh, the city, Southampton, the city's so nice. I'm gonna live in the city. I don't know. Yeah, is it like? Is it like? <laughs> is it like? You don't see any city, guy. <laughs> is half an hour away from the city if you want to get the bus so good luck with that that's all i can say i mean it's up to you you might like a, a campus that's you know peaceful and calm but i just didn't get the fact that well i mean if you want a campus you need maybe that's what you have to pay for. i didn't prepare myself for that so i didn't get to see the city very often i would i would set dedicated days to go to the city and never return for like months on end. If I were you, I would prepare for the fact that you've got a half an hour bus journey to the city. The city's are kind of boring after a while if you go all the time. It's up to you. I'm the city now. I'm loving it. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Especially if you're coming from Portswood. There is no beach. Number 10. There is no beach. Don't bring your beach wear. Keep your bucket and your spade. Keep your bikinis. Ain't no beach over here. All you get is cruise ships and, and yacht. That's all you have. That's all you have. So don't expect to be looking at sand and the ocean and the, 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 it's, 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 it's nothing. Students go to Brighton. Sorry, Bournemouth is next door. If you want the beach, you have to go to Bournemouth. So don't expect a beach, please. I thought there was a beach. There was no beach. So don't be disappointed, said the Marlow, said the Marlow. And the last one is just a bonus one. If you want a good gym, go to the gym group. Pure gym's okay. Don't go to the uni gym. That's the last tip, bonus tip. Uni gym is not 24 hours, closes at 10 p.m. Okay, you're not allowed filming. You're not, it's tiny, it's packed. All the equipment is in one area. It's just not, only good thing is the fact that it's on campus. But there's no accommodation. Ah, another bonus one. Accommodation is not on campus. You probably already know that. It's not really bonus, but there's no accommodation on campus. So with the gym, the only pro you get is if you have a lecture, you can just kind of slip in the gym a gym session between that and then go home. You've got other gyms, gym group is in Portswood, and the good thing about the gym group is you can also log in to the one in Central. So if you're shopping in Central, that's what I do. If I'm shopping in Central, I would is this recording? If I'm shopping in Central, I would just I would pack my gym wear and go to the gym that's good i like i like it like that where pure gym i'm not quite sure i don't know i mean i see most of my friends in in the gym group it's 169 for an entire uni session so it seems expensive but it's not that much it's not, it's not that much aside from that that's everything i wish you guys the best of luck when you come in and you begin your year hopefully you enjoy it hopefully if you have any other questions drop it down in the comments and if you like this video you know go down there press the like button and subscribe for more content like this so thanks guys love you peace
Deuces.